one thing that a lot of parents who have kids with special needs do not know. Hey, welcome back to another vlog. I'm so sorry, I have not been posting any vlogs because we just spent like the entire time sick. Yeah, sorry. You can follow us on Instagram though and on our blog. On Instagram, I do a lot of stories, so you can go check that out. This is a video that I've been asked to do for a very long time, and I'm finally getting around to do it. I get the questions asked of what diapers we use for our kids, so I'm gonna show you that today. First of all, we like to use this right here. This is basically like a baby um, changing table pad, but we don't have changing tables, and I still like to change my kids on something that isn't gonna get stuff on the floor. So this is a changing pad that we just use on the floor. The pantry, we keep the diapers, but we use the Target diapers. Um, we use, for the older kids, like Liam, we use a size five. Anything too big or too small will cause leakage, and we don't like that. So size five is what works best for us. And then for the younger kids, we use a size three. The great thing about Target that we love is that they have a deal where you buy a hundred dollars worth of baby products and you get a gift card back sometimes I think usually most of the time it's twenty dollars and so what you can do is you can collect every time that you buy diapers you collect those gift cards and then at one point all those gift cards can buy you free diapers isn't that cool anyway that's what we do this is basically what the diapers look like this is a size five Nothing different from any other diapers. Um, and then these are the size three. We love these because these, the Target diapers are the about the only ones that don't give our kids like rashes and stuff. They're not like, I don't know if they have like an allergy to the other types of diapers, but anyways, this also has yellow lines that turn blue when they need a diaper change. We like to use Target brand. We use the fragrance free baby wipes. They seem to be the best thing that works for our kids. And these are flushable wipes that we also use for the older kids that go, that use the toilet. These are the wipes that come in these boxes. And yeah, just, they're not like glossy, slippery or anything like that. It, I think that they do a really good job at removing the stuff that needs to be removed. These are the diapers that I get sent to our home for Liam. Cuties Essentials. I'm pretty sure you can find these at Walmart. These are the diapers that Liam's Medicaid pays for. So we get them for free. We get a big box of diapers and wipes and changing pads for him. And then these are the baby wipes that we get in the mail that Medicaid pays for for Liam. This one has like a plastic clip thing, sticker flap thing. These are the wipes, which I think they do a good job at wiping as well. And this is what we use for um, rashes, diaper rashes and stuff. This is really good. I think I've shown it before in another video, but that's what the inside looks like. And then I can barely tap it and I get plenty on there. It's nice and thick. And it does the job, protects the bum. And then these right here, these are mattress pads. They go on Liam's bed. There are also things that the insurance pays for Liam, so we get these sent home as well. They go under him and they're one use. Don't want to use them multiple times. And they're pretty big. They're pretty big. I don't know that we use these a lot. We don't really use them a whole lot, but they can be used. Now I'm gonna answer some questions that I get asked a lot as quick and as well as I can. The main question that I'd like to, um, I guess answer is, I get asked if I can show my kids in diapers and that's something that I'm not going to do. So please don't ask me that again. If I, if you happen to see a kid in a diaper in a video or a picture, sometimes maybe it's accidental or whatever, or I'm not thinking, but for me to actually send you a picture of my child in a diaper, I'm just not gonna do that. Another question, I get a lot of when it comes to potty training uh, questions and my take on it is I'm the type of person that I don't like to push my kids when they're not ready for something. Um, I do like to encourage the potty training process and stuff, but I don't stress my kids about it. So I think that it depends on your child. For me, my children have, they've taken a while to potty train, but when they were ready, I don't know, I guess I'm just, when they were ready to talk, they spoke. When they were ready to walk, they took their first steps when they were ready to just every step of the way it has been at their pace and when they were ready for it and I think that to me that's important for them to actually get for them to progress in that area 
I think I do a lot of child-led things. So again, for the potty training, if your child is ready to potty train, I mean, if you think that they're ready to potty train, go ahead and start potty training them. If you don't think that they're ready, I, I would still say encourage them, but don't stress them out. Especially kids with special needs, the restroom can be a very scary place for all the senses. The biggest one is smell. The restrooms don't always smell great, but it's not only bad smells, it's also good smells. Cleaning product smells are just over stimulating for the nose. It can be very irritating to the nose and kids don't like it. So we're still working on finding things that actually neutralize the smell in the bathroom, which is tough to do. So yeah, take into consideration what sensory problems your child might be having in the bathroom. There's the toilet sounds. If they don't like water, you know, washing hands is a big thing as well. Lighting in the bathroom, even the sound that the light bulb makes in the bathroom can be overstimulating for some kids. Try to figure out what your child is having issues with going potty training. I'll have more tips and tricks about that in another video and blog post so you can check our blog and find some tips and tricks there for kids with some special needs, anxiety, and similar situations like that. What else? What else, Casey? And then another thing that I get asked about is um, bedwetting. And I think that if your child is wetting the bed, there's two ways to go about it. One is to just go ahead and maybe they're potty trained throughout the day, but they're still bedwetting at night. One way that you can go about it is just putting them in a diaper overnight and let them wear a diaper until maybe they wake up with with a dry diaper for a week and then try to get them back off the diaper and the second one would be I mean if you really don't want to put them in a diaper then don't put them in a diaper but you might have to deal with the with the mess that comes with it and make sure that they don't go to bed with a cup that they don't drink water before they're going to bed and that they make sure that they take at least two potty breaks before actually falling asleep you can also buy these and put them under your child if you don't want them to use a diaper at night. It makes cleaning the mess a little less messy. Just keep trying with that. But that's just kind of my two cents on that. And then one thing that a lot of parents who have kids with special needs do not know is that you can actually get free diapers, free wipes, and free mattress pads for your child who has special needs. So this is for kids who have a diagnosis, who have a written diagnosis and your insurance might pay for it. So you really should look into that. Talk to your pediatrician, to your child's pediatrician, and see if they can figure that out for you. Normally what happens is that they, they give a prescription. They have a person there. For us, there's a person who specifically takes care of this type of stuff, and they talk to the insurance, and they talk to the suppliers, and gets it all taken care of, and then they just deliver it all to your house. It's quite wonderful. You really should look into that. Hope that answered some of the questions that I get asked. If not, make sure to reach out and ask me more specific questions that you would like to get answered. So I can either message you back or make a video about it. But I hope that this answered your questions about my thoughts on the best diapers for kids who have special needs and potty training. If you like this video, make sure to like it, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to our channel. And you can also follow us on Instagram at Raising Adventurous. We also have a Facebook page facebook.com slash raising adventurous subscribe to our channel for more videos like this we talk about the ups the downs the goods the bads everything about being a family of seven with kids who have special needs so make sure to subscribe for more videos you can also go and check out our blog at raisingadventurous.com i post a little more in-depth stuff there what comes out of my mind in words but yeah until next time uh wait anything else nope i think that's it Till next time